All right, so we have a chef that's watched a movie about a chef. I am so glad that I actually got to see this one. Um, I went in a little tiny bit skeptical, even though, you know, it's a John Favreau film and I, I knew I was going to like it, but... Um, while it is about food, it's really more a story about a father reconnecting with his son, and not just reconnecting with his son, but a very classic story I think a lot of people can relate to whether or not they're into food, because guy is an overworker, um, loses his family because he's you know working too hard and putting all of his effort into them instead, gets fired for very logical, I'm not really giving anything away here, it's a very classic sort of thing, but loses said job, goes on a quest to rediscover himself, in the process get, regains his family. We've seen that arc with lots of things before. In this case, it's really, really well done though. The One of my favorite things about it is the kid, which you will never hear me say again. Have you ever heard me, heard me say something good about a kid in a movie? How do you say a lot of good things, period, sometimes? But yeah, especially about kids. <laughs> Um, well, kids in movies in particular are usually well, they have to very... act like kids. And the thing that I like about the way the kid in this movie worked was the father is portrayed as being a 40-something guy that he knows that computers are a thing, mm -hmm. and he knows his kid has them, but he's not terribly good at them, which... Darn that technology! He's not quite that bad, but it's pretty close. Like, he has to have Twitter explained to him. And so he's got a 10-year-old who's constantly explaining how Twitter works and uh -huh. how things like that, but the kid's not being condescending about it. The kid's just doing it for his dad, because his dad clearly doesn't know. And they make that a central part of the movie. Like... They're bonding over the fact that the kid actually knows something that kids today would actually know and doing something without asking permission first in a way that makes sense in the context of that age. And I, I felt like that was just really well done with the father-son dynamic. Well, I know this was one of the movies that we ended up passing on South by Southwest because one of schedules mm -hmm. and two. Yeah. I looked at it I was like, it's a movie about food truck trailers and that fad and see, should be over. And see, that's the thing. It wasn't really a movie about food truck trailers. I, the food truck was the least important part of the whole thing. Um, but see, when you look at it, you're thinking it's just about a food truck trailer. I really don't care. I understand why you would feel that way because, yeah, that's that's it's that's a like badly cut commercial um, yeah. as far as that is. It really is. Like I said, it's that redemption arc of a family. I find it a little hard to believe that a guy that looks like him is going to not only get Sofia Vergara as a wife to begin with, but that she's going to give up Robert Downey Jr. and pine over the dude that's been really negligent to his entire family. But whatever, it's a happy comedy. We'll, we'll gloss over that so part. So she left Iron Man to be with him. Be with Shelby Guy. Um, and isn't that John Favreau? Oh, is he actually? I think that's <laughs> actually him. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's actually him. Um, so she left Iron Man to be with his director. Yeah, whatever. Um, the, the real point, though, is it's a very well-told story. And food is not as central to it as I was expecting. Well, with the title, like, Chef and the, the way they market because it. Because it's totally about his, it's his job as well as his, uh, I mean, it's, it's his self-identity as well as his job title. So it would have been like... TV announcer as, as the name of something or something along those lines. Like, Except that would make a really terrible... Ter don't make that movie. Well, I don't wonder why they decide to mismarket things and mislead you like they did with Godzilla where they make you think Malcolm's dad's in the whole movie. I mean, come on, people. And this one makes you think something different. Do you think they want to draw people in that? Oh, food trailers. Those are the hip things. So they get the hipsters? I, I or? think the thing about it is it's really hard to say, we're going to tell the story you're really familiar with. A redemption story about someone who sacrifices his family for career, discovers that his family is more important, and goes, goes to all the work necessary to regain that and, and get a work-life balance. That doesn't fit on a poster very well. So you're like, chef, yeah, food trailers, come see it. Um, True. Because I... Because that's, that's what made the movie work, was that whole family arc. And there's several times in it when he's just kind of being, he's being an ass, and you just want to be like, no, no, stop, stop, you're ruining your own life yourself. And they don't sugarcoat it. They don't, even though it's a comedy, yeah. they don't um, find some way to redeem him in that moment. Like, you actually make him live through his mistakes and still get a redemption at the end, and that felt really good. Uh, there's one particular scene where he goes and he um, basically has to quit his job because he's given a choice between doing something that he has ethical issues with for good reason and doing something that... Uh, like making a duck? Well, no. I'm not really sure. I'm never sure how many actual spoilers to give away, even though the show is called Spoilers. So a food critic comes in, slams all of his food. And he comes back and says, you know what? Fine. I'm going to make the food I should have made because he'd had his whole very fancy yeah. menu planned out. The restaurant owner said, no, the place is completely full. You're going to make your classics. The, food, the restaurant critic comes back, 
And of course, it's the exact same stuff he's been making for 10 years, slams him again. And you see this beautiful montage of him at home making all the things that he would have made at the restaurant that night. Beautiful, luscious close-ups of food. And I, the whole time, I'm thinking, your son just showed you how to use Twitter. Just take a picture of it and tweet, this is what I would have made if I hadn't quit tonight. I wanted to see him do that so bad. And instead, he just goes in and screams at the guy. So, out of five stars, what are you gonna give this? I'm gonna actually give it a, I, oh, I'm, I'm gonna give it a four and a half. Four and a half, that's probably that's one of our really, highest reviews we've done so far. For me, yeah. yeah. It's, there are one or two small things in it that I, yeah, it could have been tweaked, but if you, if you like redemption stories, if you feel like, if you're a kid who feels like, well, okay, not like kids are watching the show, but anyone that feels like their parent was overworked and, you know, put that before yeah. family, I think would enjoy it. Anyone who's decided to make that sacrifice, who's gone through and said, you know what, my family does have to come first, but I but just can't quite decide if it was the right decision because, oh, I know how much further I could have been with my career. This is the type of movie that's going to make you feel better about having stayed with your family instead of trying to work harder for that promotion.